Hey guys, Eric Peacock here with Pure Media Fitness, where we help middle-aged men and women transform their bodies and their lives. We're going to finish the leg series with the king daddy of legs, in my opinion, is bar squats. Now, not everybody can do bar squats. You have to have good shoulder mobility. You have to have good mobility with your squat. So if you don't have the right mobility, this is not the drill for you. But if you have the mobility, this is, I think, the best exercise for building lower body, just because it has a great anabolic effect. Real important is your setup. I always like to set the bar about chest height, about the armpit height. And when I get in here, I get about one and a half shoulder width for my for my, my grip. So about what you would do for a lat pull down. I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna rack it on my shoulders, not on my neck. A lot of people rack it on their neck. I'm not gonna use a pad. A pad typically rolls around. I want this bar nice and solid. I'm gonna lift off my hips, hold the bar, pull it down, then let this roll around your back. Tight. I'm gonna walk back three steps. Toes slightly pointed out, and I'm gonna take a breath in. I'm gonna tense up my abdominals, sit back, my knees are out, hit the target, drive through my big toe, pinky toe, and heel. And as I come down nice and slow, under control, knees out, and then I'm gonna drive up, exhale. Nice and slow, hit the target, up and exhale. Get my hips all the way through. One, two, three, and my feet are even, set it down. Couple important things, I like to put a box behind because it helps me get to depth, it helps me get my hips back so I'm not putting excessive stress on my knee, I'm squatting properly when nobody's there to watch my form. Also, don't worry about adding weight right away. Start with getting the form right, nice, low eccentric, a good pause at the bottom, an explosive out of the hole. Make sure your form's solid. When I first started doing squats, I did them high, I did them with poor form, my legs didn't develop. Once I did them, dropped the weight and did them the right way, the strength came back and then some, and my legs really developed. So make this the cornerstone of your leg workout. Once again, if you have the mobility to do it, I like to do three to four sets, six to 10 reps is a good place to start. There you go, that's the end of our leg series. We'll see you next week with a whole new series for June.